I'm here with Dario Cadavid, who's overseeing the technical aspect of the cooling system. Dario, can you tell me how exactly this system works? Okay, this is a prototype building for a, for a stadium that is powered by the sun. So we have two series of systems that are powered by the sun. One is the photovoltaic panels that are exporting energy to the grid continuously. So when we need it for the matches, we will take energy from the grid. But the amount of energy that we will be exporting throughout, throughout a year is going to be higher than the one that we needed. So those are the basis for a zero carbon technology. Okay. And on the other side, we have a series of solar collectors that are heating up water to a very high temperature around 180 degrees Celsius. This hot water goes into a store into a tank and from then into, into an absorption chiller. This is a machine that uh, through a chemical reaction converts very hot water into chilled water around 7 degrees Celsius that comes to the stadium. And once in the stadium, this also chilled water gets stored in a big tank that is right now in the middle of the city. And this tank has the capacity to keep the cool for about uh, 10 hours. So basically for, for the World Cup or for the use of the stadium, we're going to have matches from 4 p.m. until 10 or 11 p.m. We will, we will have enough capacity to cool the stadium, even that we are not getting sun from the, we are not getting power from the sun. So. And then once the, from the tanks goes through the air handling units, the, from the air handling units, air is being pumped at the ankle level, at the neck level, a very low velocity air, and we are getting air about, about 18 degrees Celsius. So the temperature that we are achieving, that we are targeting to achieve in the pitch area is around 26 to 29 degrees Celsius, and at the, at the spectator area will be around 31 degrees Celsius. This is calculated for a very hot day in Doha that could be around 44 degrees outside. And it has been tested during the FIFA inspection last week. We achieved temperatures about 22, 23 degrees Celsius in one of the hottest days in Doha. That day particularly was 44 